Hey, what's up, guys? Um, so one thing sometimes you you'll notice when you're um, making your game. Right now, <clears throat> for example, you'll see when uh, little Millie here, <coughs> he's um he's very floaty, and we don't. Well, you may want that in your game, but it kind of looks like moon gravity or something like that. And um, for this instance, um, we don't really want that. So a lot of that is due to um, the scale of your character or your player or whatever you're working with. <clears throat> Excuse me. So a lot of times, um, a good just rule of, rule of thumb, a quick reference, something um, I, I like to do pretty much all the time, is um, I'll just create a um, some time right now. Uh, I like to create um, a cube. And these are all basically meters in Unity. So this would be like one meter high. And um, I like to make a cube or whatever, two meters high. So roughly about six feet as a reference to get started and use that as a scale um, for if you're talking about uh, at least Earth physics. Uh, so you can see if that six feet, Millie here is absolutely huge. She's like at 12, 18 feet, 20 feet tall, something like that. So the bigger it is, um, it's gonna look a lot floatier with the default physics uh, built into the Unity engine so far. So I just I'll scale them down to roughly match a six foot tall item player, whatever. Oops. And uh, you can see this is still he's pretty tall, but he's more more human size. So that's pretty good to get started. You know, if you want to be a little taller or shorter, it's not going to be perfect. But you can see here, he's roughly about six feet tall, give or take. And that's fine. Um, and <clears throat> so now you'll see if you run the game, when Millie <coughs> jumps, we haven't changed any jump parameters or anything, <laughs> any jump parameters or anything like that. It's dinosaur egg. Um, it looks a bit more. Um, <coughs> At least what I'm looking for. And he might be jumping a little bit too high now. Dinosaur eggs in a way. Um, I'll move that dinosaur egg and turn it off. But um, you kind of get the idea. So that, that, that'll that that'll help you so you don't have to actually go and change the the physics or the gravity or anything like that or whatnot. Now if it looks like he still might be jumping too tall, uh, too high, we can just change the force to maybe something like 6 or 7. And... Um, he should be a little bit needing any more juice than that, but you get the idea. So then you're not, the whole point is probably your player is at a scale. Uh, so use something, you know, a quick and dirty approach, make the cube six feet. That looks pretty good, actually. I'm kind of liking that. Maybe one more notch up, but um, you get the idea. 11 seems pretty good. And we're just as adding, um, Impulse for us to jump. Yeah, that acts pretty good. I like that one. Probably eleven. Yeah. So um. So that fixes the floaty jump issue. Um, pretty common error for newbies. Uh, I know it was for me at least. And hopefully, uh, this will get you uh up and on your way and and uh in your game. So uh, if you can uh. Smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and um, questions or comments down below, I'm, I'm happy to answer if I can, and uh, we'll catch you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy coding!